Hey, this is Swaggers doing Diablo 3, and this is a secret level tutorial for Whimsy Shire. Um, the first thing you're going to need is in Act 1, you can load up the Legacy of Cain. And all of these things are unfortunately random, so you may have to come in and out, in and out multiple times. Um, the first one is in the Cathedral in Act 1. And what we're trying to get is the uh, Black Mushrooms, and so go to the Cathedral. Which is pretty early in the game. And I found mine on level 1, and I guess since everything's randomly generated, it appears that the layout on this, though, is a requirement, so it will be in this room. So take a look at my map when I get down here. And uh, it's going to be in this corner room. Oh, look, they're feeding. They're feeding on some poor innocent person. So inconsiderate. Oh, back when a six was... Oh, I already had a six, so a five's not going to be in. So you're going to come into this room, there'll probably be an enemy, and you can already see the mushrooms have spawned there. If they are not there, you don't have this layout. Leave game, resume. Um, you're going to be doing that a lot for a lot of these things, because, you know, it, it took me 20 times to get Those some of this stuff. So there's the black mushrooms. That is item number one for the Staff of Herding. And there are two things in Act 1, so next we're going to load up another, uh, a different quest. We're trying to get these as close as possible. We're going to get load up the Imprisoned Angel. And it's actually going to spawn you on the opposite side of the manor. I'm just, I'm, I worked through to find out that the item was there and then I came back. So you're actually going to start on the... Um, other side of the manor always it's not a random map it'll always be this map and when you get into the side room in this fireplace if you have the burnt logs then you're good and you'll get the shin bone if you do not have the burnt logs leave resume leave resume leave resume leave resume we're gonna be doing that a lot let's just move that shin bone somewhere What's nice is that you can't get rid of this stuff, so don't worry about that. Okay, then on Act 2, Shadows in the Desert. That's where our next item is going to be, and uh, we're at the camp here, which is the main thing. We're going to go into the town, and this is actually an item that is for sale on a merchant, and anytime you get, even when you start the game, start this act for the first time, um, this merchant will be there. So you can really go at this at any time. Um, it's 100,000 gold on normal, and it's right there at uh, Squirt the Peddler. And going to the miscellaneous, and right there, uh, Wurt's Bell. And again, it's $100,000. You're actually also going to get an achievement when you buy it. So that's nice, a little 10-point achievement. So when you have the money, come back there. Um, item number four is going to be also in Act 2, and I'm going to load up Blood in the Sand, which is going to take you to the Oasis. And you see these um, low areas here. They're always going to be there. There's going to be one down on the right and one on the upper right. And what happens if you, if you come into here and you're getting attacked by these ghosts, then you know you're in the right area. Because um, you need this guy... And he is going to open a cave when you kill all the ghosts. There's only three, so it's pretty easy. And that is going to push you into the mysterious cave. And then you also have him as a merchant. You know, who cares? Let me repair my stuff. So, again, mysterious cave. This is rare. If you don't get the mysterious cave, leave. Resume. take out some of this stuff and what you're looking for is the mysterious chest and if you find the mysterious chest in the mysterious cave you'll get the liquid rainbow and that's the only thing that comes out of it so four items down again so the, the luck here is one you get the cave and two that it's in there okay now we're gonna load up act three machines of war And we're going to be in the fields of slaughter, and again, we're looking for another um, random cave, and it appears that it's here almost all the time. 
It's just where you're going to find it. And you're looking for the Cave of Caverns of Frost. Okay, now in the Caverns of Frost, we are looking for a rare um, elite spawn. And when you get to the elite spawn, which is Chilterra, I believe. Just killing bad guys. And there we go, there's Chilterra. Take Chilterra down. And I'm pretty sure every time you'll get the Gibbering um, Gemstone, but again, you have to get Chilterra to spawn, which is, as of course, random. So we've got most of our items now. We're going to go to Act 4, Prime Evil. Um, this is going to be the hardest one. Let us fight this evil together. As we'll be in the keep, and we're going to go to the Crystal Colonnade. Colonnade. And you got to fight all the way um, to Izul, which is right before Diablo. It's not a long trek, but what's nice is what you can do is if you have a friend with you, have them come to that sport spot there and then leave because when you kill him here, you're going to get a checkpoint. So if he doesn't drop it, and it's very rare that he drops the plans that you need, what, he's, what he has is the plans to actually give to the blacksmith so that he can earn. So fight him until he's dead. This was a hard battle for me on uh, everything else is pretty easy. But there you can see that he'll have randomly, he'll have two uh, rare items and then he might have plan staff of herding. And take that to the blacksmith really in any act, in any time, in the same difficulty. So here we're on normal. So we're just going to teleport to town. Thing to note is after you make this in normal, if you fight your way all the way to Act 4, in the upper right by the healer will be a vendor who will be able to sell you the plans and all your other difficulties for just one gold. And then the cost to create it goes up. The cost of normal is 50000 Okay, so we're going to right click and boom. Get an achievement, because that's the first thing. And then it's going to be in weapons, even though it's, it's not really a weapon. You can't equip it. You just have to have it in your in your inventory. And so I'm going to go back to Act 1 and return to Tristam because that is where the actual level is and uh, we'll go to the blacksmith and actually make this we made this item and like I, like I said it was 50,000 gold and the the checkpoint we want to go to is um, the old ruins and then just head up north. No, all these, these guys are old Tristram. Barely level one. And you'll get to Old Tristam Road, and then just head left, follow the edge, and you're going to get to this um, opening here with a cow skeleton. And because we have the item, we're going to have the cow. And I'll let you hear. We see you have brought the item. That is good. We are utterly pleased. <laughs> Wait, you're a a cow? Where in Bulkathos' name did I go wrong in my life? And you are a stinking bag of flesh with no fur. Ah, <laughs> touche. Ah, this is no time to be silly. The level of sparkling happiness and rainbows awaits you. You mean the cow level? No! There is no cow level. No. Ma! Uh, excuse me. Move along. Okay, so now we can go to Whimsy Shire anytime we want on normal difficulty. And it's all cuddly bears and happy clouds and the enemies are a little tougher. Um it's not that big a level, and you can obviously exit out whenever you want, and you can come back as long as you have that staff in your possession. And uh, you know, just enjoy Whimsy Shire. Killing unicorns and teddy bears and getting above average loot, I would say. Uh, so enjoy. Thanks for watching. A new ally has joined. 
but the minions of hell. 